Hello, welcome back to Ayastek. In this video, I will show you how you can create a droplet for your Laravel application. It is very quick and very easy by using DigitalOcean. So first of all, you must have an account on DigitalOcean, obviously, and you should log into your account. Once you are on your dashboard, you will see uh, this kind of dashboard and then click on the create button, create droplets and then in the droplet area you can select the region you can select the data center and then here you can choose your image so you can simply install the linux uh, operating system a plain linux and then you can set it up for your uh, laravel application but if you want everything out of the box uh, you don't want to do that by yourself you can just click on the marketplace and here you will find a lot of built-in images that will uh, help you to uh, that will give you the ready-made applications installed already like you can have a wordpress that would be installed already on it you can install plesk you can set up docker you will not have to run a single command you just select the image and it will do it for you so i want to set up laravel so just click on that and then here we need to select the droplet type so I just want to demonstrate so I want to keep it cheap so just select basic there are other uh, expensive options as well for dedicated CPU in the basic let's go to the cheapest solution go to the regular and here the minimum amount is four dollar so let's click on that and then you can enable automated backup plan and here you have two options to access your server so for example you want to use the terminal and want to access your uh, server you can either uh, create a password or you can use the ssh key if you want to use ssh key then you have to add the public ssh key in the DigitalOcean settings and then you will be able to uh, use it so if i click on that uh, i should see the list of the ssh keys here but right now there are no ssh keys so i can just click on the add ssh key and here we can add my ssh key so so this is how you can get your computer's ssh key open the terminal go to the cd go to the root directory and then go to the cd.ssh and here i need the public r i need id underscore rsa.pub so for that use cat id rsa dot press enter it will give you the code just copy it and paste it here okay now give it a name ayas or whatever your name uh, you can add it here if you don't have the ssh key generated in your computer you can follow this instruction on the right side you have to copy this command execute in the terminal and then it will generate the id rsa and id rsa dot pub files for you okay then you will do this command run this command and it will and it will give you the code that you will put it here just click on the add ssh key and then it would be added the benefit of this approach is that you will not have to type the password every time you want to access the terminal so, but in some case if you don't want to use ssh you want to skip or avoid this then you can just select the password and give it a unique password then you will be able to use it by providing that password every time okay now uh, once everything is done just click on the create droplet okay so it is being installed click on that so while it is being installed you can click on the get started it will show you the instructions how to get start and start using it so here you can see in addition to the package installation the one click also enables the ufw firewall to allow only ssh port 22 rate limited http port 80 and https port 443 access it creates the initial laravel configuration file to set up database credentials and allow the laravel instance to connect to the database after you create okay it has been created so after you create a laravel one click droplet you will need to log into the droplet via ssh to finish the laravel setup so setup is not finished yet so we have to access the droplet by running this command in the terminal so now 
open the terminal and paste that command so as we have the access just type yes okay i got the error that uh, please wait while we get your droplet ready so it is being uh, still being installed so that's why it is not ready yet so i will try again so once it is ready i will be able to use the terminal so it is still being done meanwhile we can read other things so here it is saying if you did not add ssh key when you created a droplet you will first be prompted to reset your root password so it will not ask us to reset the password because we have the ssh key configured then the interactive script that runs will first prompt you for the domain or subdomain for now to keep this tutorial simple uh, we are not going to add any domain name but it is very simple and straightforward i may record another video in future to cover that topic as well so but i also have some videos on digital ocean that i already have recorded so you can go there and check the playlist and you may find some helpful uh, videos that will have that direction so at this point you can visit droplets ip address once it is done you can just visit the ip address or domain name and uh, uh, in the browser it will show you the larval application the web root is slash war slash www slash larval and the larval configuration file is in this location okay it has told us that where to put the files or change the file and where are the where is the .env file you can get the information about the php installation by logging into the droplet and running the php minus i in addition to in addition there are few customized setup steps that we recommend you to take you should consider securing mysql instance by running this command creating an nginx server block file for each new site and makes it blah 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 to do so you will need to create two things okay i think uh, for now we can skip that part because we just want to keep it very simple now let's try it again all right now i am inside my remote server and uh, it is showing me this message we have the welcome message and here it is saying that we can access our app from this ip the default web root is this etc and this setup requires a domain if you don't have one yet you may cancel this setup by pressing ctrl c the script will run again on the next login okay right now we don't have the domain so i will just stop it so now let's access the ip address so here you will find the ip address just copy that and open a new tab paste it and you will be able to see the larval app here okay so it's live now so after this you may start working about linking domain with this ip address and then you will be able to access through that domain so that's all that i wanted to show you in this video i hope that this video was useful for you so if this video provided any value to you then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos also please like and share this video and if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions for next videos then please leave them in the comment section i will do my best to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time